We are at Boca West Country Club having this really unique event, Rendezvous All Rolling Garros. It's a wild card opportunity for some great young American players to kind of test their mettle on the red clay. It's interesting, a lot of the players that are at this event have, have told me that they've really had never set foot on red clay before, so it was neat. Bob, what a day everybody is having. Kind of a special day for you. Your son, Billy, our friend Billy Boy has put this all together for the USTA. How proud of a moment is it to be uh, here? I think it's great, and I think Billy's enjoying it and glad that they did it. You've been around tennis all your life. Yeah. Try to explain the magnitude of this event, the feeling that you get when you arrive. Well, I think one of the main things is to think that they converted four courts to red clay is pretty remarkable. And uh, it's different. and that plays differently, as you know. But uh, I think it's wonderful the commitment this club made to do that. And uh, I'm a little overwhelmed by how many people are watching, to tell you the truth. The generation of tennis continues. <laughs> Young Jack is on his way up. How proud Jack, of you no, Jack, uh, He's uh, 10 and uh, playing big time tennis. Hits the ball very hard. And, uh, and it's not all the new rackets either. You know, he, it's amazing to watch how he's developed. And he's pretty young, so hopefully he continues to develop. But Bill's smart enough not to push him and also give him an opportunity to play other sports, which I think is very important. As you know, Stan Smith and those guys used to play basketball. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, Bill told me that Jack is in the soccer. He throws footballs, yes. basketball. He shoots those. Baseball. So he's, uh, baseball yeah. also. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that has a ball. <laughs> <laughs> but he's uh, obviously, I think he's really gotten quite good at tennis for his age. It's amazing. And the one thing I really admire about him, I've seen him lose matches. And he's very, he doesn't sulk, he doesn't complain. He congratulates the guy and tells him what a great match he had. Um, and, and I think that's great. And if he wins, he doesn't, he doesn't overwhelm the person. He just goes up and tells him they shot, you know, they had a great match. So it's good. So he's got a good attitude. I hope he, hope he keeps a great attitude. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful.